What does Bella say? Bella says E E E. <laughs> what does Bella say? Really? <laughs> the girls get to play with each other again. Woohoo! What are you guys making? A oh, a castle? Nice. She is talking so much now, know, Caitlin. Right? Oh my gosh. It wow. Like, all, like, she actually says sentences. It's so crazy. Mm. There's a bee that keeps following me around, driving me crazy. I don't know. It really likes the way I smell or something, but I'm getting freaked out. So I've been like running around in circles looking like a fool. We're back at Underwood Family Farms again. Um, yeah, I'm hanging out with Caitlin and Jen and Lilani. We went to Lilani's birthday party a while back and um, we wanted to get the girls together to play and so this is our little post Halloween fun. Oh, I lost my daughter. Ah, and there's the bee. Ah, there's a bee again. I don't know like how it keeps finding me. I'll like run so far and it finds me again. Iris, where are you going? Oh my God, those goats are just headbutting the pole over and over again. What the? What are you guys doing? Why is that fun? I actually, I kind of want to go home now. This bee keeps chasing me. Wherever I go, it finds me. I keep hiding. I'll be like over on the other side. It'll come and find me over there. I don't know why he likes me so much. Hey! What are you doing in the pumpkin? Oh, really? Just gonna yell in the pumpkin, huh? All the kiddos in a wagon together. Hey, Mommy, over here. Gio! Gio, baby! Hi, baby! <laughs> Apparently, Iris would rather pull the wagon than sit in the wagon. Can you get it? It's so heavy. <laughs> Can you pull all the kids? <laughs> Iris just separated from the group to watch this chicken show. She loves it. <laughs> Well, that's it for us. Thanks for coming, everybody. We sure do appreciate it. We'll keep on enjoying our music. Now, if ever. <laughs> That's for the sound. Oh, yeah, it's a wind muff. <laughs> Iris, do you like the bee train? What does the bee say? Hey. Yeah, close enough. Hi, Bella. Can you wave hi? Lelani. I'm gonna snap. Hi. Hi. Hello. What does the bee say? Gio is always looking at me like I'm a weirdo. Every time I start talking, his head snaps over and he stares at me. Like, who is this crazy lady? So, kind of just went out the door and didn't get ready or anything today. I am going to go get my nails done because in a couple days I'm going to be on a talk show, which I'm really excited about. It sounds like um, it's gonna be a lot of fun I'm stoked and I can't wait to do it but I want to get like a little extra cute for this talk show and uh, yeah so I'm gonna go in there I'm gonna ask if I can get my nails done in the massage chair if they're not busy well I see someone in the chair like um, the waiting area chair hopefully they're not that busy um, my back has been really hurting for the past couple days so, but you know like if you get a pedicure you sit in the massage chair and if you get your nails done and a pedicure, they do your nails in the massage chair. And maybe since I come here all the time, they'll let me. Well, today's the day. I got up with my buddy Nick, and we're, uh, as you can see behind us, we've got the Mavic Pro up in flight. Uh, Nick is actually a commercial drone pilot, so I thought he would be a great guy to go to to get some information on how to fly this bad boy. He's been giving me a lot of knowledge. 
And one thing I'd like to uh, reiterate is like your drones aren't toys, they're high tech they're equipment. They're not toys, they're flying camera yeah, devices. Yeah, and they, they can cause a way. whole lot of problems for people. So you really want to know what you're doing um, when you're flying. So I'm getting an education from this guy. And here's the drone. Nick was so surprised at how small it was, even uh, unfolded. He's like, oh, that's absolutely tiny. So we're going to work on getting some awesome drone footage today. And uh, it's just going to kind of show me everything about the controller. This is amazing is that this is all it takes. Yep. It's a tiny little controller. It fits onto your cell phone. Uh, it's a lot less gear than most of the commercial drones you'll find. It's not cheaper and expensive, but it's very quality. Yeah, it's and it all expensive. is compact. It fits into a tiny, tiny little bag. It's a little camera bag that you can take with you on an mm. airplane. So this is pretty much your first time to really mess with it. What do you feel like? I've you're, been you're, around my yard a few times. Um, but you know that was all real simple. Just like I, I set it out there and let it hover until the battery died, to make sure it come down by itself and stuff like that. Yeah, it's my first ever drone, um, and this is one of the most, I would say, beginner, user-friendly drones on the market. You know, if you want to put a camera on something, it's, it's so easy to fly. And between beginner mode and regular mode, you can switch back and forth if you're a beginner or an expert. So let's see how close you can come to landing on the dot right here. Close enough. Bam! Dot. Two points. Yeah. Mavic Pro. It's funny too because I'll be flying and someone will like call me. I'll be like, ah! like don't take the call, don't take the call. So I've been on uh, beginner mode which restric restricts the speed and the flight altitude and the distance away from you the drone can be. But uh, Nick's going to go ahead here and take over the controls, take off beginner mode and give her a fly. Look at that. Flies up to uh, 40. 44, 45 miles an hour, maybe 47, I'm not quite sure. But. Sweetness, well, what do you think? Boy, it's a lot of fun. It's, yeah. it's certainly a and lot. You're a drone guy, so you know. It's a lot of fun. It's expensive, so yeah. you gotta be sure that you wanna do this. And I would say, get a little bitty toy drone, crash it in your house like 40,000 times, <laughs> and when you've crashed it at least 100 times, 100 crashes, not successful, 100 crashes, <laughs> then you can step up to like a nicer drone like this. So this is- So thank you, and uh, glad you like it. Super cool. Yeah, this is super cool. <laughs> this is very really sick. PlayStation VR. Hey. Hey, handsome. How you doing? Nice to see you. I like it. How does it feel? It feels crazy. It feels like I'm actually like in this space. And I took the elevator down. Felt like I was going down an elevator. It's pretty cool. PlayStation. I'm not a big PlayStation guy, but I like Sony a lot. But I feel like they did a good job with this. Yeah, this is wild. I feel like I'm just like going down this hole. Like Batman. Well played, Warner Brothers. Well played. People, people that haven't done VR, they just don't understand. It's not just like watching a little 3D movie. Yeah. Well, and some stuff is uh, like if your brain think if your if the VR set is out of tune with what your brain thinks your body is doing, you get really sick. So it's like this fine balance to keep you like in your own sense of control in the VR world, and it's just crazy. So awesome. Yeah, I feel like I'm like 100 feet in the air right now looking around at a bat cave. As you're slowly going down into your uh, yeah. 
And that waterfall is sick. It's weird. It's weird to be like immersed into a world that's like not real, like that virtual reality. Man, that's that's crazy stuff. We are just getting a little lunch here. Subway Ventura. Countdown. Yeah. Countdown. But, uh, I'll be headed out here pretty quick. Go home see what Nikki and I are up to. I got to work on a few things on the computer today, but it's been a blast hanging out. It's been a couple months since we've hung out, but it's been, He's been so busy. He's been a busy guy. Yeah. Busy, busy guy. Busy, busy, busy. busy. <laughs> it's fun, but it's also like it, uh, so tiring. But honestly, it's better to be busy than to not be busy. I guess. So I just got back from getting my eyelashes done. I might still have creases from the tape underneath my eyes, but I went to a place in Montrose, uh, close to my house. Uh, the girl that did my eyelashes the first time, she doesn't do eyelashes anymore or she's like between places or something so I thought like hey let's try and find some place around here and she did an amazing job and it was only she only charges $45 for fills which is like really good for eyelashes but I'm really happy with it and I'm gonna feel very pretty on camera tomorrow Doo -doo 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 -doo. I forgot to say I got them done at Montrose nails I think I found a hidden gem Lola's excited to see you. I know, I love her. She's everything. Aww. My friend Andy is here. And I brought you so many things to try on. Yay! I'm excited. So my friend Andy is dressing me for the talk show tomorrow. He has a fashion line called Nouveau Riche and he brought over a bunch of his samples for me to try on and then, ooh, that's cute. Yeah, right. Oh, I love like, that. The mom thing. I Look like, at yeah. this. The, like beautiful flower print maxi dress. These are my clothes. They're just drying. <laughs> That's cute. Yeah, I can oh. see them on you. It's gonna be real fun. Yeah, hopefully the dogs don't get hair all over your samples. Whatever. <laughs> That's what lint rollers are for, girl. Yeah. Iris, what do you think? Open. <laughs> Open that? <laughs> so I'll give you guys a clue whose talk show I'm on. She's a pretty awesome actress, and she was green in one movie, and she was blue in one movie. Guess below who you think it is. There is so much cute stuff here. This is like a double layer, like sheer over semi sheer little dress. Yeah. And like Kardashian nudes. Simon! Hi. He's, he's checking out the clothes. Um, and then here's another like little dress. I know everything's like so wrinkled right now. Kind of like asymmetric cut. Very nice. And then this is like a little like two-piece set. That's cute. Um, really stripe would be really cute on camera because it's not like too, too busy. Mm -hmm. Is it higher? Does it sit yeah. higher up? Yeah, it's like high-waisted and then I paired it with just like a cute, really nice feeling basic tank. Yeah, that I is mean. cute. This dress has been like my ultimate most popular. Yeah, I think I've seen a lot of people wear that, or, you know, in your pictures. Yeah, I've had like a few celebs on red carpets wear this. Who did, did is that what Brittany Baldy wore? No, she was too short for it, but um, Notori Naughton from Power has worn it. Oh, okay. A few other people who I can't really remember off the top of my Oh, no, she had like a crop pink thing, right? Of yeah, yours? she did another two piece. She likes the crop tops and the little skirts. Hmm. Um, and then this one is also like one of my favorites. I did yeah. it in cobalt blue as well for spring. Pretty. This one, which I think is so pretty and like springy, but mm -hmm. it depends on what season you want to play up, so. Oh, did you decide you needed to get in some oral hygiene? Well guys, we're all getting ready for bed around here, so I'm gonna wrap things up. I'm gonna do a bunch of masks tonight so my skin looks extra nice tomorrow. I haven't picked out my outfit yet. I'm still gonna go through some stuff, but um, yeah, I will vlog tomorrow. Thank you so much for watching. Please give this video a thumbs up, leave a comment, subscribe, and always remember that I love you and stay tuned for more vlogs. Mwah. Simon is here, never fails. Pew!